So I added a couple of changes. I added a sample track and I've also added a couple of album covers. So if I am to go back into the app that I created, you can see that if I am to click on this, it'll play the non-copyrighted music. And the great part is you can also increase the volume as well. Now, isn't that amazing? This was something that I was able to replicate by simply just giving in one prompt to Klein with the capabilities of the new upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. Yesterday was a day that definitely took a toll on me with three uploads, but it was truly worth passing down the information to you guys. For the people who do not know, Anthropic released three new updates. The introduction of their new Claude 3.5 Haiku model, a computer use API that autonomously controls your computer and executes web-based tasks for you. And lastly, the biggest update in my opinion, which is the new upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. Now, I made a video on this model where I tested out how great the model is at coding. And if you are to watch the video, you will see the insane results being outputted in terms of an SVG code packet as well as a full stack app and so much more. It's earned its spot to be the best coding based model. On the Sway Bench Verify test, it actually scored a 49 percentage, which is a proficient score that is higher than all publicly available models, including the OpenAI 01 preview model. It also scored a 93.7 on Human Evil, which is just simply insane. Now, like I said in yesterday's video, I will be showcasing a video today on how you can combine the best coding based model with the best coding agent that's out there. We're going to simply combine Sonnet 3.5's coding abilities with the best coding agent, which is Klein. And we're going to be capable of generating anything with these two combined. For the people who do not know, Klein is an AI assistant that uses your Cli and editor to handle complex software development tasks step by step within VS Code. It's powered by Claude 3.5 Sonnet and it gives you the ability to use other models, but it basically works best with the Sonnet model. It can create, edit files, execute terminal commands, fix bugs, and assist with large projects, all with human in the loop control for safe approval of changes. It's designed to streamline coding tasks like debugging, project exploration, you have web development, and so much more. This is something that is a great alternative to Cursor with the ability to have a similar feature of the composer within this framework. So let's get started. The code editor that I'm going to be using is VS Code. So simply install it for your operating system. Once you have that installed, simply install the client extension. Now you can simply go over to this Microsoft Marketplace, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click the install button, which will prompt open VS Code to install this. So simply go over to this page and click on the install button over here. Once you have installed it, you're going to be able to go over to the client extension on the left hand panel. And this is where you're going to be able to start interacting with this beautiful extension. But before we even get to that, go to the settings and go over to the API provider and add your Anthropic API key. You can see that you can utilize the new Anthropic model over here, which is the latest date that was updated, which is yesterday. So simply select this model. You can go over to Anthropic's API portal and you can generate a key and then paste it back into the extension. So essentially what we're going to be doing now is showcasing the capabilities of the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model as it excels in software development and as we're going to showcase how well it's able to handle complex tasks such as coding, planning, and problem solving with enhanced reasoning. So what we're going to be doing now is showcasing this capability of the node added latency as well as the multi-step development process that has been integrated with this new model upgrade through the generation of the apps that we create with Klein. So now what we're going to be doing is having the Claude model combined with Klein to basically help us in software development. This is where I'm going to be creating a similar Spotify streaming type of app like a music streaming app and this is where I fed it an image of the Spotify UX or UI to Klein and this is where I have it so that I wrote a prompt that I want to make a similar app for music streaming it doesn't need to be uh, connected to any APIs yet just create the app for me so let's send in this prompt and let's see what it's capable of generating so we can see that it's first starting off by creating the base it's going to start off by creating all the files that are necessary so as it generates this uh, will show you the progress being made. 
so it looks like it has finished creating the first iteration and look at that this is the app that was created by just simply providing the ux design you can see that it is really really uh similar to how spotify basically looks and it did a great job in replicating the ui now if i am to go back into client i can actually make it so that it is connected to a couple of apis such as adding the functionality of streaming music and this is the capability that you get from client so now what i'm going to be doing is having it so that you can actually stream music so let's go ahead and showcase this capability of adding the ability to stream music into our application so now you can basically add your mp3 files to the audio directory so what i've done is i went back to the explorer went into the audio directory and i added a sample non-copyrighted background music so let's see if we're able to play it within the app so I added a couple of changes. I added a sample track and I've also added a couple of album covers. So if I am to go back into the app that I created, you can see that if I am to click on this, it'll play the non-copyrighted music. And the great part is you can also increase the volume as well. Now, isn't that amazing? This was something that I was able to replicate by simply just giving in one prompt to Klein with the capabilities of the new upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. The fact that I only spent 24 cents to create that is just insane to me. Next, I'm going to have it create a self-operating AI agent that plays a chess game. So I'm going to have it create the chess game and I'm going to have it deploy the self-operating AI agent to basically win every single time. So let's check this out once it has finished generating so it looks like it has finally generated the game let's see if it's capable of deploying the self ai agent within it so let's open this up and look at that and essentially i would basically just simply make the moves and then you can click this button which will make the ai make the moves and in this case it's not so good but we can see that we can go back into uh, Klein and improve the functionality of the AI agents to make better moves and have it fully functional. So let me go ahead and actually do that where I'm going to have it so that it makes the moves autonomously and I don't need to click that button. So it looks like it has made the changes and I also requested it to make a better UI for it. So I started this up within my web browser and you can see that this is the AI chess game that it has developed. You can autonomously make moves or sorry you can make moves but the ai will autonomously make moves which you can see over here it killed my knight or yeah my knight i think but look at that guys this is the capability of the claude model being combined with client this is something that excels in so software development it's great at problem solving and enhanced reasoning and this is why i definitely recommend that you try it out because it is absolutely insane and that's about it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it in conclusion the cloud 3.5 sonnet model is a great model in terms of its coding capabilities it's something that has definitely been upgraded to perform the best at debugging editing as well as having enhanced reasoning capabilities with no latency this is something that is quite exceptional in coding based tasks and this is why this is the best coding based model that's out there having it combined with something like klein can definitely enhance its capabilities even further so definitely recommend that you try this out and see what you're capable of doing with the combination of the new upgraded sauna model within klein i'll leave all the links in the description below Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access different AI subscriptions to tools for free, as well as joining our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the landscape of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.